here is the different dragon class we were talking about in class today. Um, wants us to write a class called dragon. They've already given us the framework for that. Dragon should have a name, a level, and a variable can be fire, indicating whether or not the dragon can be fire. The class should have gather methods for all of these. So we're going to have public string get name, which will just return the name. And then public int get level, which will just return the level. And then public uh, boolean is fire breather that just returns whether or not the dragon can breathe fire. Um, dragon will need a constructor, so public dragon, and we need as a string, we need the name that the dragon is going to have. As an integer, we need the dragon's level, and as a boolean, we need some variable about, oh no, we do not need that, no, no, we're not going to do that part right there. So, the name, we will set to the name that was passed in the constructor, and the level, we will set to this level, and then they say down here somewhere, if the dragon's level is 70, so if the dragon's level is at least 70, then we want the can breathe fire boolean to be true. Otherwise, it's going to be false. So up here, I'm going to say it's false. And but if the level is greater than or equal to 70, then we'll make it true. So we've got a constructor that sets name, level, and can breathe fire. We've got getter methods for get name, get level, and is fire breather. Um, that's all done there. Getter methods for all of that. So now we need a method called attack. Put that down here. Public void attack. And they say if the dragon can be breathe fire, so if can breathe fire, then we should print out this. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This one has to be 14. This one has to be 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that looks good. If it's a fire breather, we print that. Otherwise, we print three little tildes, and it looks like there's supposed to be a space in between them. Something like that. And then we need another uh, method called gain experience, which does not take a parameter, they say. And all we're going to do is add 10 to the current level. And then we've got to recheck if he can breathe fire now. So the same thing I said up here, if the level is greater than 70, so we change the level, we should recheck if the level is greater than 70, then can breathe fire. I think that's all they wanted us to do. And we could check the code by writing some stuff over here in the dragon tester, but let's just go up here and see if that did everything that it was supposed to do. 
and we have an error on line. I uh, type the word returns instead of the word return. That's pretty awesome. And it looks like that's it. Five minutes to complete a different Dragon class.